Hello, it's me, Dr. Naita. Thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna turn this down some. So how's everyone today? I hope you all are having a great day. Look, today I want to talk to homeschool parents. Yes, those of you who have found yourself in the homeschool situation. That's probably all of you. So, I want to chat with you today. You know, I have, I have over 14 years experience of working with homeschool families. I, homeschool has always been a part of my population that I have served when I was working on that side of the college. So, with that, I have a lot of resources and tips and strategies that I can share with you all. I have some wonderful success stories. I have some horrible stories as well, but we're not gonna focus on those. We're just gonna talk about the success stories. So, take a pen, jot down a couple of notes. Number one, it's all about creating, your, a successful homeschool is all about creating an environment that's conducive to teaching and learning. So, how do you do that? First, by be creating a space that your students can go to. Everything they need is there every day. Their chargers, their pencils, their paper, everything that they need is right there in that location. They must have a, have a designated area that's theirs that they can go to every day. Number two, creating, establishing rituals and routines. Rituals and routines are imperative because they set a foundation. They create habit. Students then know what's next. What do I do next? What is expected? So you want to follow your schedule. Ideally, it should be close to the schedule that they had at school. However, you have to do what's best for your family, but your schedule should be the same thing every day so that students will get in the habit of knowing what to do next, um, completing my assignments, letting my parents check it, submit it, whatever it is, but have rituals and routines where they are, do they are doing the same activity every day and close to the same time. Number three, parental involvement. Does not mean being the helicopter parent. It does not mean doing all the work for the students. It doesn't mean being the drill star sergeant, but it does mean supporting your students and making sure that they are accomplishing everything that they are supposed to be accomplishing, especially about middle school. Now, I taught middle school for seven years and I have worked with middle school students at my church for over 10 years. And I know this population well. There's something strange about boys in middle school between the seventh and eighth grade. Let me tell you about one of the behaviors that they display. Seventh and eighth grade boys, what they will do oftentimes is complete their assignments, do their work, and then won't turn it in. What's up with that? I just don't understand that. They will go through all the labor, do the work, and then leave all the work in their lockers. Okay, it's the craziest thing. So as parents, you have to stay on their necks. You have to continue to push them, follow up with them, make sure the work is done. It is no different with now that you are the homeschool parent. You must follow up. And especially right now, because everybody in the world is on the internet. So we're gonna have hiccups. So even though you, they uploaded the assignment, they hit send and then shut the computer off and walked away because they hit send. They assume it flew. It doesn't always. And whose responsibility? Yeah, it's their responsibility to make sure that the email actually went through. But as parents, that's your responsibility. You need to follow up, make sure students are meeting their deadlines. If they have a Friday deadline at one o'clock, then you should have your own family deadline that is on Thursday night, which gives you a chance to take a look at the assignment, make sure it's complete. Even if it's stuff that you've never seen before and you don't fully understand it, have them explain it to you. You want to follow up. Parental involvement is key. I can tell you horror stories about parents 
who just let their students go and you just go do the work and then you know at the end of the year you know oh my student is responsible and he turns in all this work yeah but he did the wrong class okay because you weren't following up so please parent it is important that for your students to be successful yes they're gonna go in there they're going to do their work on their own but it's your responsibility parents you have to follow up make sure they are meeting all their deadlines and completing all their work all right number four give them opportunity to connect with their friends it is oh my gosh that's the one thing that concerns me most about my homeschool population and my homeschool kids is that too often they only grow up with five or six kids throughout all their life and some of their social skills are well underdeveloped so social human interaction is so important so make sure that you give your students an opportunity to connect with their their, their friends their classmates um, you know there's all kind of video conferencing and skyping and all kind of you know apps that students can use nowadays to play games with one another and um, you know still connect with each other make sure you're giving them time to do that to study together to do homework together continue to give them and allow them that opportunity to make those connections because it's vital they need it they need that social interaction they are struggling they're struggling during this time you know i was thinking about it i was like my goodness some of these kids left for spring break left things in their lockers you know and thinking that oh i'll be back the week you know a week later and now you know many kids won't see their schools again number one ever because they are graduating and then number two they won't see it again until the fall you know and and that's that's you know that's very difficult for them so they need that chance to interact with each other okay and the last thing connecting with resources you definitely almost knocked the camera over you definitely want to um connect with resources so Many of you are, may be finding that it does not take six hours for students to complete their assignments. Whereas if they were at school, it would take the whole day, wherein now they're knocking it out in two, two and a half hours. So you may find that you want to supplement some of their activities with more resources. Well, there's an organization in Jacksonville Florida called Home Education Resources and they are a wonderful, wonderful um, resource for families and you can purchase more content, more curriculum for your students to give them extra things to do. Another resource is called outschool.com, outschool.com. What a unique program they offer all kind of classes for students between the kindergarten and 12th grade and they're non-credit courses they're totally you know fun courses but they have the academic courses as well but of course you don't get credit for them but um, you purchase the class the students will complete the classes online and the topics range from everything from pre-calculus to um, how to sew how to cook. I even teach a couple classes in out, out school. Mine are more so for college and career planning, um, balancing um, setbacks. I'm doing a workshop starting next week, I believe it is. I have to look, but it's on outschool.com. But on um, bouncing back after setback, and this our everyone's world the carpet has pulled, been pulled from our lives so we are experiencing quite a bit of setback so i'm teaching a workshop on how to overcome and bounce back from setback but our school is an incredible incredible program i recommend that you connect with them and then lastly there's a young man from i believe he's from the detroit area but somewhere up north and i mean just an incredible young man and he started a program called dream hustle code and what he wanted to do was provide inner city youth 
the opportunity to learn more about computers. So he has recently launched a boot camp for students between the ages, well, between sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and is to teach them about science computer science. So it, what a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. So again, this is called Dream Hustle Code, and I strongly and highly recommend that you connect with them. And then of course you can connect with more resources. I can provide you more resources if you go to my website at www.drnaita.com. Well, I wanted to give those few strategies to you. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and I hope that homeschooling is going well for you. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.